it's June Berry and you can call me June and in this video I'm going to show you some ways that you can make your gaming chair a bit cuter. This works especially well if your gaming chair is one solid color like all white or all black or something like that and uh, you can just add a few things to it and it'll like change up the look a bit. So this is my gaming chair. I got it off of Amazon. I'll also link this down below. But this is how it comes, you know, with nothing added to it. This is it plain. So the first thing that you can do is that you can add some cute cat paws to the armrests of your chair. These are the cat paws that I got. I got these white and pink ones, but you can get them in tons of different colors. They come in black, uh, white, purple, all kinds of things. So on my cat paws, I have a piece of elastic attached to it. Uh, what I did was the paw has this little fabric loop already on it so I just tied one end of elastic to the loop and then on the other end I uh, hand sewed it onto the paw itself right there and I did that so that when I put the paw on the armrests it will stay in place and I don't have to worry about it falling off. I'm going to show you me putting on the paw without attaching the elastic and it works fine, you know, you don't have to attach elastic to it, but the thing is that it can uh, slide off. So, for example, if I, like, I'm moving my arm around it on it a lot, it'll eventually slide off like that. And then this is me putting it on while attaching the elastic. So, and yeah, you see, with the elastic on, it's secure and it won't fall off. So this is the neck pillow that comes with my chair. I forgot to show it earlier, but yeah, this is what it comes with. And it's cute and everything. I like it, it's perfectly fine. But if you wanna make your chair a bit cuter, you could change the neck pillow. This is a car seat pillow that I got from Amazon. Um, and it's a, a Line Friends Connie pillow. It's adorable and it's meant to go in a car, but as you can see, it is actually the perfect size to replace the neck pillow on your gaming chair. This is how the listing looks on Amazon. At the time of recording this video, they are actually out of stock of this exact pink Connie one that I have. Now I'm going to show you two different ways that you can attach this to your gaming chair. As you can see, um, it doesn't have the buckle clipping like the one that comes with your chair does, but you can still attach it in two different ways. This is the first way where you literally just put it on like that and it works great like that too. Like adorable, cute, 10 out of 10. Now I'm gonna show you the second way. So uh, when you buy this on Amazon, it actually comes in a pack of two pillows. So if you fuck it up, hey, you do have a second chance, okay? <laughs> so um, for this method, I'm going to put it through the actual pillow loops. 
So I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut it. <laughs> Try to cut it like evenly down the middle as much as you can. And then I'm going to take these uh, Velcro pieces. I got this Velcro from Family Dollar and they have adhesive on the back. Um, so I'm just going to cut them smaller and then I'm going to take off the the backing off of it and it has strong adhesive on the back so you can just stick it on to whatever you want to stick it on to. So I'm going to take one part and I'm going to, you know, stick the velcro onto there and I'm going to try to put it on there nicely. and press it on and then I'm gonna do the same to the other one with the other half of the velcro you know one part of the velcro is like rougher and then the other part softer and they stick together you know how velcro works if you have a velcro but you don't have adhesive on the back of it what you could do is you could hot uh, you could hot glue pieces of velcro instead um, but yeah, so you can put them together and look, woohoo, you can also detach them again, just like the buckle. So now I'm just going to attach it just like I would with the regular pillow that it comes with. And it's convenient this way because you can always take it off and put it back on. Now on to the third way that you can make your chair cuter, adding a cute seat cushion. So I got this pink seat cushion from Amazon and it not only looks cute, but it's also good for you too. It helps like your back when you're sitting in your chair for hours gaming, you know, it's very comfortable and aesthetically pleasing. So this one's very simple. You just place it in the chair and that's it. Now I'm going to show you two other methods and these ones, you don't need to buy anything. These are things that you can find laying around in your room. A blanket. I'm sure a lot of you just have like a cute blanket laying around somewhere. You can plop that bad baby on your chair and it's wearing a hat or a cape, whichever you see it as. And Maybe in your opinion this makes your chair cuter. I think it does. You can also flip it in the other direction. I prefer uh, using the white side. I think that adds a nice touch to it. And also when you're cold, you can just bring it over your shoulders. And now lastly, you can add a pillow on there. Another pillow, yes, another pillow. Comfort is important when you're sitting on your chair for 10 plus hours. So this is a pillow that I made years ago and it's just laying on my bed. So you can put it behind the straps of your gamer chair if your gamer chair has straps like these. And bam, wow, look at that. And it's insanely comfortable. Like I can't sit on my chair without this pillow on it now. It's very comfy. <laughs> This pillow combined with this seat cushion pillow is just maximum comfort. So these are all the ways that I could think of. Um, there's actually one more way. You could buy one of those cute bunny hats that I see people have and put that on the top of your chair too, but I didn't bother doing that because I didn't want to spend any more money. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. Those are all my methods for today. Let me know if you use any of the tips I mentioned in this video and follow me on all my social media at Juneberry and stay safe. Bye.